dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ. On this 23rd Sunday of ordinary time, the Lord directs our attention to fraternal correction, a difficult but an important aspect of our Christian life. We cannot just overlook or deny the reality and the need to correct mistakes and mend broken relationships. Are there people you need to correct? Are there truths you need to point out? The truth hurts and the process of pointing out the truth is painful. But the truth does set us free. Jesus offers us a pattern of fraternal correction. He says, if your brother or a sister sins against you, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others alone, so that every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, tell it to the church. And if they refuse to listen even to the church, let them be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. There are three concrete steps here. The first step is to meet the wrongdoer in private. Only when the first step fails is the second step applied. Invite one or two objective witnesses to discern with us in our effort to find a solution to help. Should the second step too fail, then bring the case to the church or community so that the issue can be raised in prayer. In normal situations, when we notice something wrong in a person, we either explode in anger or tell another person about it. No, that is not the right response. The first person whom we should approach when we notice something wrong in others is God himself. We should bring that person to God in prayer. We seldom do this. When someone hurts us, talk to God first about that person. If somebody needs correction, talk to God first. If somebody needs to be criticized, consult God first about you want to say. The most effective way of correcting another person is by praying for them. Grace of God alone can bring about a change in another person. Not so much our words. Only God can change people. Only God can correct hearts, not our efforts. Now there is the fourth step, and this step is truly radical. Jesus says, if they refuse to listen even to the church, treat them as a pagan or a tax collector. Matthew 18, 17. This is the last solution in the art of fraternal correction. What Jesus exhorts us not to exclude the person from the community. It is a very simple solution. To understand this teaching, all that we need is to remember how Jesus treated a pagan or a tax collector or a sinner. Did he exclude or reject them? No, never. On the contrary, he loved them with all his heart. He welcomed them, listened to them, and treated them with generosity, respect, and compassion. He willingly shared their joys and pains. This is what Jesus invites us to learn and practice in our life too. The fourth step thus becomes a climax of the art of fraternal correction. When all our efforts to correct the wrongdoer fail, the greatest and most valuable correction is our enduring love for him or her. 
The basic goal of fraternal correction is to help free the wrongdoer from his difficulties and not to cause more wounds to an already broken soul. Let us ask Jesus to help us to be more sympathetic with the weaknesses of others. Let us learn to practice the art of fraternal correction by growing in our love for one another. God bless you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.